Hi, hey guys. I'm gonna be talking today really quick. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanna tell you five signs that your tongue, from your tongue, that your body is stressed out. Um, because a lot of times we don't recognize signs of stress in ourselves, like not sleeping well, that's a sign of stress, which actually makes us more stressed, right? Um, uh, there's things that you can do to reduce stress, but when you know you're stressed, it's even harder to reduce your stress. Anybody else feel that way? Sometimes you just start getting little panic attacks, your heart starts racing, your brain is going a million times, you know, miles a minute, and you just can't slow down and stop it. Tongue scrapers, yay, tongue scrapers. So um, five signs from your tongue that your body is stressed. Okay, canker sores. Maybe these aren't on your tongue. Canker sores might be on, not be on your tongue, but they can be. You can get those sores on your tongue, but those are a dead giveaway that your body is stressed out. Why? Um, because inflammation, acid foods, and allergies can all cause uh, canker sores or sores in your mouth or on your tongue. And that happens, those things happen when you're stressed. So if you're getting canker sores, it can be related to stress. So um, you want to kind of make sure that you're doing things to reduce your stress. Teeth grinding is the second way. Um, or clenching your, your jaw, clenching your teeth. We don't always realize we're doing this. You might actually be doing this when you're um, like on the computer, checking your email, working. You might be clenching your teeth. So you just want to make sure that you're aware of it. But that, that grinding or clenching, that pressure can wear down your teeth and cause a lot of issues in your jaw, in your bones, and in the muscles. Um, it can also flatten and wear down your teeth, the top of your teeth, um, and your enamel. And then worn enamel leads to sensitivities, cavities, and internal uh, your internal tooth damage, um, including... Um, problems with your gums. So teeth grinding and clenching your teeth. And also be aware with your children, with your kids, um, little kids, grade school, teenage kids. If they start having um, canker sores and um, grinding their teeth, um, you know, address stress. Ad find out what's causing stress in their life because this is probably, they could be a, the, gen the, the cause of it. So um, not just you, but your kids. Um, indentations in your tongue. There's actual indentations. It looks like um, roads, little road maps. So if you look at your tongue and you have little roads of indentation in your tongue, um, they can typically be seen with teeth grinding. So a lot of times when you're teeth grinding, you also have those little, um, what, what we call indentations in your tongue. Um, you can have joint pain especially in the muscles of your neck and jaw, popping or clicking of your jaw. So that's a sign that you're, you're having stress. So, you know, doing um, neck exercises, stretching exercises, keeping, taking your head and kind of holding it to one side to stretch, stretch the sides of your necks, the inner scalene, um, tilting your head down. You want to put your chin back, tilt down to stretch the back of your neck. Don't forget about your front of your neck and tilting up. A good exercise that I like to do, um, you can stand or sit, but you put your hands out right in front of you. This gets your elbows nice and straight and then bring your arms up. You wanna keep your shoulders locked down. You don't wanna raise your shoulders up. You want them down with your shoulder blades like coming back together and down on your back, but arms in front of you, shoulders down, bring your arms up above your head and then look up. This is gonna stretch everything in that center. And because we're working at a desk all day, we're like this. So stretching that is gonna um, reduce stress and pain and all sorts of things. So that's a good, good way to do that. So out in front and you want your shoulders, just get your shoulders down. If you're standing, you want your feet hip width apart and slightly turned in, not, not like this, you know, real far, but you want them slightly turned in. Um, and then arms out, shoulders down, and then look up and just hold it there. You want to keep your arms as straight as possible. I'm like looking at myself. I'm not even. Um, and you want to just look up. And then you can set a timer for 30 seconds to a minute, whatever's comfortable for you. Work up to about a minute. Do that stretch as many times as you can. But when you're at the desk, um, you know, like doing forward folds, any time that you can move, like shoulder rolls, things like that, that's going to help reduce the stress in your neck joint pain. 
Dry mouth. Okay, so here's, you know, we're, we're using a mask a lot. I did a couple uh, Facebook Lives. I've got a um, article. I don't know, Kat, if you can post the link to the article about mask mouth and how to prevent it. But dry mouth is a sign that your body is stressed, but it's also caused by uh, mouth breathing and uh, um, wearing a mask a lot. So if you suffer from dry mouth, it might be um, related to stress. It could be related to mask mouth. Regardless, your saliva is what protects you. Hi, Amber. <laughs> Thank you. So um, you want to make sure that you're drinking enough water, 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 water. I'm not talking juices. I'm not talking um, coffee. I'm not talking tea unless it's not, unless it's like an herbal tea. Uh, I'm, I'm talking water. You want to increase your water content by at least two cups a day, as long as you're not on any kind of restriction, medication, stuff like that. But you want to increase your water content if you are wearing a mask all day. This dehydrates you more than you think. So increasing your water. Kat just posted the link to how to prevent mask mouth naturally. So that's um, an article that I wrote with a lot of tips about uh, mask mouth. So um, when you decrease the saliva, when you have a decrease in saliva in your mouth, regardless of whether it's from mask mouth, or the mask, dehydration, even from stress, it causes an increase in acid level in your mouth. When you have an increase in acid, you have an increase in the bad bacteria, you have more risk for gingivitis um, and cavities and then all the other health issues that follow that. So you just wanna make sure that you're making, um, that you're drinking enough and that you're doing things to reduce um, stress in your life, which is not always easy. Sleeping good. Sleeping is so important right now. Um, sleep is one of the, is, it's the time that your body resets. We all know that. But when, you know, I know I'm guilty too. If there's one thing, you know, when I'm super busy and there's a lot going on, it's my sleep that gets cut short. It used to, not anymore. I make sure that I go to bed um, and I get about seven to eight and a half hours of sleep every night. And that you have to make that a priority. But if you're stressed, there's possibility that you're waking up more and you're not getting deep sleep. So if that's the case, you want to do some things that can promote deep sleep. So meditation, wearing, you know, doing meditation at night, stop looking at your phone about two hours before you go to bed. I'm wearing blue light um, blockers, the, the glasses that are blue light blockers um, before, you know, an hour or two before going to bed. Um, Oh, I had something else. Oh, wearing a sleep mask. Believe it or not, wearing a sleep mask can make, help you sleep deeper, mainly because your room isn't completely pitch dark. A lot of times it's still light. And um, the darkness, wearing a sleep mask will keep you in darkness and actually keep you in darkness until it's time to wake up. And then when you wake up and take the mask off, there's that difference in um, lightness and darkness and it wakes your brain up. So it actually wakes you up better when you're wearing a sleep mask as well. So wearing blue lock blockers, we wear blue light blockers too. We've noticed a big difference using them. Good, yes, Alyssa. And so um, we do have, um, and Kat, I don't know if you have it. You can post a link for, oh gosh, I just went blank on um, the blue light blockers that I use. Um, so Kat, if you can post them. We have it. I'm 51 going through menopause and have Hashimoto's and get dizzy, dizzy spells. Can that be from dehydration and stress? Absolutely, Rachel. Yes. Um, dehydration and stress can definitely cause dizziness. So be careful. Um, you know, you know, just make sure that you're drinking enough water. If your urine is like, it, your urine should almost not even be yellow. It should be very clear and um, almost like a such a really light yellow. If it's got a yellow color to it and it really looks yellow, then you should probably you're probably not getting enough water. You're on the dehydrated side. So you want to make sure that your your urine stays very, very almost almost clear, really is where your urine should be. Um, I can mention my sleep supplement. So anybody that really needs something, um, and it's actually great for everybody um, to use, even if you get good sleep. The supplement that I came out with recently, my sleep, is unique because it doesn't just support deep sleep, but it actually has colostrum and it has um, velvet deer antler in it. 
Velvet deer antler, one of my favorite things about um, deer antler is that it supports your immune system. So a lot of people will take deer antler, velvet deer antler at this time of year to increase their immune system before flu season starts. And so it's in here. You take it once a night. It's liquid form. So you actually will absorb more of it because you put it under your tongue and then you absorb more of it. If you take a lot of pills, you're probably not absorbing as much as you think. And if you have any digestive issues, you're probably absorbing even less, which will stress your body out. If you think you're taking supplements, um, yeah, you know, I'm even talking vitamins, B vitamins, all of those vitamins and nutrients that you're taking in a pill form, if you're taking them and not realizing that your body isn't actually absorbing them, it's stressing your body out and not doing you any good. So um, there's B6 in my um, sleep supplement. The weight loss supplement that's coming out, it'll be a package of three. Um, the sleep is the third step. So there's three steps. When we talk about weight and management, managing your weight, there are three aspects of your weight that affect your weight. Diet and exercise are a part of it, but they don't have anything to do with your body managing your weight. Your body needs a good metabolism, so you need to support your metabolism. And that means have a healthy thyroid, have... Um, a healthy cellular activity. Um, the second step is you have to have, you have to be hydrated, which is part of what we were talking about. You have to be hydrated. You, if you are dehydrated, body functions start to suffer, including your metabolism. And then the third step of maintaining your weight, a healthy weight, is your sleep. During sleep is when your body might utilize muscle as opposed to fat for energy. So by coming up with my three-step formula, the first step supports your metabolism. You take that in the morning. The second step is for your hydration. It's got, um, I think it's goji berries and aloe in it, and they help pull the, um, the water, like the extra bloating. Ladies, if you want to de-bloat, it's really good for that. Step two will help you. It increases the nutrients that get into your cells, but it helps to de-bloat you and keep you hydrated, super hydrated. Um, so hydration, so it supports, first step is metabolism. You take that in the morning, just to squirt under your tongue. Hydration, you put in your water, you drink it during the day. And the third step is the sleep which you take at night. They're all liquid. They all go under your tongue. They are all super easy and they are all absorbable by everyone, regardless of your gut health. So that's why I made them liquid so that you aren't, I guess, pooping out all of your supplements. There, I don't believe in wasting money. And if you're pooping out your supplements, you're literally wasting money because you're not absorbing them. And honestly, most people have digestive issues. So look for, oh, it's true dark. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. It's true dark. I know I couldn't think of it. Um, when will your three-step weight loss naturally kit be back in stock? So Chrissy, it's, it's, I put it on the website. It's not available yet. Friday, look for it Friday. Um, I'll do pre-orders. We will have it in stock in pr approximately two weeks is what I'm being told. It's all made here in the US, it's made in Florida. We just finalized all the labels and stuff like that. They're actually making it right now. Um, so it's handmade, it's brewed. It's kind of like all of my stuff. They do the same thing, the steps. We made sure the process was um, in line with me and, uh, and my standards and it's all made in Florida. So they are gonna be bottling it. You're welcome, it's gonna be bottled. And then I expect to get it in in two weeks. So as soon as we get it, we'll be shipping it. Um, it's a 30-day supply. So this is a great one that once you try it, um, you can put it on a subscription. That's a great, um, both of them. If you just want the sleep, you can put them on subscription. Hi, Amber Joy. How are you? Um, I hear restless leg is because of anxiety and stress. You think the mat, uh, st the stretches would help a little. Hi, Christina. Um, restless leg can be from a lot of things. It can be from imbalances in... Um, your um, nutrition and electrolytes as well. So making sure that you are taking, um, I like to take, um, and this actually has um, the, is it the hydrate? I can't remember which one. And I don't have all of the ingredients. Oh, wait, 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 here they are. So should, 
shallot, uh, I can't even say it, shal shalajati. It's the, it's the um, ash has trace minerals in it. And so it's going to help increase the trace minerals that you absorb. And you're going to be absorbing them under your tongue. So you'll actually absorb them. So it's like the mountain ash um, and it has the fulvoric acid or ash in it, which has all the trace minerals. And what can we do to make the thyroid healthier and what can you recommend? Um, so your thyroid, um, it just depends on your, your activity of your thyroid. Some people have hypothyroid, meaning it's, they're, it's low. Some people have high hyperthyroidism. So I can't necessarily address those right now because they're different, but some of the things that alter your thyroid are, um, your nutritional status, obviously the minerals, um, and, and the nutrients. So making sure that you're getting the good nutrients, absorbing them, taking your vitamins. I actually would like to, I'm, I'm working with this company to do a, a supplement, a vitamin supplement that you take under your tongue as well. Cause I truly believe most people are not absorbing their, their supplements. So, um, I would like to do a, a supplement as well, but it's got to taste good. So, um, I'm, I'm working on that. Um, but also making sure, um, Anya, that, um, you're using skincare that doesn't have water. I don't know if you're using my skincare or not, but you want to make sure you're using a water-free skincare because a lot of water, watered um, skincare products have tap water in them and they have hormone disruptors, um, birth control pills, all sorts of medications are found in tap water. So you can be absorbing things like that through your skincare products that have water in them. And most companies use tap water. Um, if, it, if it doesn't list purified water, it's tap water. So um, making sure your skincare doesn't have hormone disruptors in them and tap water in it. Is it okay for guys to take it or is it just for women? Oh no, Mary, um, it's for everyone, men and women, men and women. Absolutely. It's a three-step weight loss program, men and women. And it's not necessary. So it's still your responsibility. You still have to do the work. I just want to tell you that. Um, I'm not going to, you know, this isn't something you're going to take and, and pounds are going to fall off. This is actually what you take to help like get your body primed so it can do what it's supposed to do. So your metabolism is good because you're hydrated and you're sleeping well. And when you work out and eat correctly, your, your body weight will then decrease. If you need, if you want it to decrease, you're working out and doing that, you know, the stuff that you need to do, this is going to, this is going to build the foundation. And those are like the tops of the pyramid, if that makes sense. So this is the foundation that you might be missing. This is why a lot of people can't lose weight because, um, this part, their body isn't isn't primed to, to lose weight. It's stressed. It's using the wrong, um, it's using the wrong modalities to create energy. So what we want to do is get you hydrated, keep your metabolism healthy, and then, um, make sure you're sleeping good. All of those things. Uh, have you heard of Palmafero rose oil? My Facebook newsfeed is blowing up about that. Hmm. I have not heard of that. So I'll have to look it up, Rachel. You're welcome, Anya. Uh, what do you suggest for lowering high cortisol? My job is pretty demanding and stressful at times. Thank you. Thankful for a job right now, right? No kidding. Um, but realize I need to figure out ways to support my adrenal glands and try and lower it. Like, so, um, Chrissy, like, um, it's, it's more, it's like stress management. I take cortisol manager. Yeah. And magnesium. Good. Um, calcium D blend in the evening before bed to try and stay asleep at night. Um, Chrissy, did you try, if you haven't tried my sleep, try my sleep. It's got, um, the Velvet Deer Antler um, Colostrum, it's, it's a macuna bean, melatonin, and vitamin B6. And vitamin B6 is really good for um, supporting your, um, your adrenals and all that as well. Um, let me see. I try to sleep. Um, it used to work for me before I had kids, <laughs> but this combo doesn't seem to be helping my sleep as much or making me feel more energetic without feeling wired from the spike in cortisol that tends to happen in the evening. So, um, Chrissy, um, overall without knowing, you know, and getting into a whole lot, I would probably try just, you know, try and try sleep. It, it sometimes takes three or four weeks before you actually get the full effects of it. Um, because it has to kind of build the levels in you, but you can try sleep. Um, it's different than everything else. And you might not have been absorbing, um, things correct, like the way you were supposed to, but otherwise, um, the, you have to find the things that 
there, there's no one answer um, for anybody. Like I can't tell you guys to do one thing and all, all of a sudden you're going to be better. So you have to sort of figure out what works for you. Um, if you love to run and it de-stresses you, like literally you can go for a run and for whatever, 10, 20, 30 minutes, you, you, you can release that energy, make time to go for a run. And maybe it's not a run for you. Maybe it's a walk or maybe it's getting on the treadmill or maybe get up the 20 minutes, even if it's just 10 or 20 minutes, make that time for you. Do it because that's the best thing that you can do. So it might be going for a run or whatever that activity is. Make sure you put that time in for yourself. Um, making sure not just that you have that activity that brings you up, but you also have that activity that brings you down. So in the evening, that might be just laying down, like in dead man's pose. I love that pose. You know, you're just laying there. You could put your feet up against a wall. That's going to bring your legs up higher than your heart and allow some of that, um, the blood to drain, which is basically going to, you know, we're standing all day. So all the lactic acid build up in your legs. So if you just take five minutes and put your legs up the wall, lay butt against the wall, as close to your butt against the wall as you can, and then put your legs up the wall, that will bring, um, help drain some of all that stress from your lower legs, your legs, and help you detoxify that, especially once you go to bed. If you can, then you can boost yourself up um, more into, um, you know, what do they call that in yoga? I can't think of it right now, but when you get your legs up over your head, um, you can even do that. But at least getting your legs a little bit higher. If you can't get your legs all the way up the wall, do what? Modify. You know, you can put your feet, your legs, um, you want your knee, legs about 90 degrees, your foot against the wall, um, and just get your legs a little bit higher. Doing um, child's pose is very calming, very relaxing. So just spend, put your timer on for five minutes in the evening and just do some sort of laying down, calming pose, whether it's child's pose, legs up the wall, um, bridge pose, anything like that. I see all the hearts. Thank you guys. Um, anything like that. So figure out what is your love? Because for me, I love yoga and I love running. So if I'm going to run, I want to run in the morning because my energy goes whoop. And yoga, hot yoga I like to do in the morning when it's a long time thing, long like an hour long. But in the evening, I will I love to do um like a downward dog, some cats and cows, that's going to help get your your shoulders and all that stress from your neck. And then um just doing like legs up the wall or something like that to get my legs higher than my heart. Hi, Tracy Joe. How are you? Thank you. I will try out your sleep supplement. I appreciate your feedback and insight about activities to bring me up down. I will be trying these, especially in the evening. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. So my seasonal skincare box, if you have not signed up for it, you only have until September 7th to get it at the membership price, which means that you get it every quarter for $2.97. And you can take $25 off your first box with coupon beauty box 25 use that you'll get 25 off the first box it's a membership which means every quarter you will get a new box with the skincare that you need for that season in the winter you are going to get the pomegranate face package which is not even out yet i've been having heaviness in my left ear eye neck and shoulder and stuffy nose at night never go away what can i do marie oh gosh i don't i mean i can't really um, I wish I could help you with that left ear, eye, neck, and shoulder. Is it all on the left side and stuffy nose at night? Never goes away. So Marie, I'm not really sure. I wish I could help you out with that, but I can't really do any kind of, um, I, I can't because I can't communicate with you and I can't really give you any advice medically. I, I really can't tell. Um, but I would just, um, either talk to your doctor or, um, you know, just make sure that you're supporting yourself with your diet exercise and then supplements and make sure that your digestion, so, you know, probiotics, that your probiotics, that you're taking good. There's pre, pro and postbiotics. You guys know this, right? Pre, prebiotics, probiotics and postbiotics. If you've not heard of postbiotics, look them up. Um, they work on the carbohydrates, like they convert the carbohydrates. Um, so check out the postbiotic because um, they're all very important. I just found out about post. I'm like, what? Now I have to have a postbiotic? 
yes, it's hard to keep up with, but check that out. I wish I could help you, but honestly, I can't. Um, only because I can't communicate and I can't really practice. Yes, beauty box. Can anyone click on the links in the comments? I can see them, but never click on them in Facebook during the live stream. Oh, I'm not sure. What do you rec What do you recommend, Kate? What do you recommend? What do you mean? What do I recommend, Kate? On what? For probiotics, are you talking about the probiotics? Um, there's a good probiotic. And Tracy, I was going to tell you, I think Tracy, you wanted to know what it was called. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Root Sprout. Tracy, uh, for pre, pro, and post. Kate, I don't have the brands in front of me. Let me show you guys this probiotic I've been taking. Let me see. L I B E S P R O dash colon.com. So I've been taking this one. Did it post? There it is. Lives Pro. I've been taking this one. Um, this one seems to be really good. It comes in a liquid and it's spores so that it can actually get through your um, stomach, your, your acid in your stomach and get into your small intestine. And then the spores can do what they need to do. Um, so live spro. Oh, I did it wrong. Sorry. Don't, don't click on that one. I was like, spro is not right. Live spo, S P O L I E L I V E S P O dash colon dot com. I don't know, Kat, if you can delete that one. Um, it's this one. Hold on. My computer is acting up. Okay, use this one. Yes, that's the one. There's no R in it. Um, that's the one I started taking. I found it a couple weeks ago, and I've been taking that, um, and, it, and it's good. Um, prebiotic, I'll have to, Kate, I'll have to look at the ones, what I'm taking at home. Offhand, I can't remember the brands. Postbiotics, um, I, I'll have to show you the brands. I'll try and do, um, I'll try and bring them on on Friday, or if I can, I'll try and post them here. Um, I know I'm going to be here at work until like 11 o'clock tonight. I got a lot of stuff to do. So I know I won't get to it tonight. Um, so I'll try and get that um, for you. I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture or something and try and post them here in the comments about which probiotics, postbiotics, pre's and posts and all those things. Um, all right. So does anybody have anything else? Um, and I don't see, um, I just want to make sure I'm not, what do you, what if you have bad vascular issues? My hubby, uh, and is still in the will thin the blood with what if you have bad vascular issues hi mary i can't remember what we are talking about is that a one month supply or how long does the box of weight loss supplement jess yes the weight loss everything's a one month supply so the weight loss all of them in there are one month supply so you use like a dropper of each each day and um, same with the sleep, which is the sleep is in the weight loss one. So if you're using sleep, it would be in this package in the kit for this three step. So um, you wouldn't need this one, but this one I um, did separately. So, um, and they are all a one night su supply. It has a lot of edema at night right now. What products did you say helps? So Mary, I wish I could help and, and go down that road, but I can't, I can't, you know, treat or diagnose or do anything like that with swelling. Um, when I was talking about bloating, which is different than edema, um, bloating is like that, uh, the extra water weight, um, different than edema. Um, but the one hydrate, the one for super hydrate, the second step helps to reduce bloatingness that you feel. And that's what is part of the supplement. Can you give some advice on really bad congested blackheads? No matter what I use, it's, um, it is just there. 
Hi, Donna. Blackheads. Is it on your nose? Congested blackheads. Um, so exfoliating, um, I don't know if you use the Sweet Revenge exfoliator. Um, exfoliating is good because um, it deep cleanses and gets rid of dead cells. Doing the Char Glow face mask is really good because um, it's going to help pull things out. So I would exfoliate, use the Char Glow. And then what I love to do is the fire and ice, the fire and ice treatment afterwards. Um, I know some people with, that use the carrot seed um, face serum have really, like it helps to reduce pores and helps to get rid of blackheads as well for some people. So um, Donna, if you've got the carrot seed, maybe try the exfoliating and the char glow and just doing the char glow face mask. You could probably do it two or three days in a row and see if that just helps loosen things up and pulling, pull things out and just deep cleanse. But the, the um, exfoliation should help too. Um, you're welcome. You're welcome. The carrot seed line with the quiver is really good for blackheads. Yes. Yeah. With the quiver too. So if you've got the quiver, Donna, use that with the, um, the face washes. All right, guys, I got to take off. Oh, thanks, Katie. Love the carrot seed oil. Me too. I've been using the carrot seed. All right. Bye guys. Have a great rest of your day.